child labor in Yemen became common after the country was ravaged by nearly eight years of war. White children around the globe lead a normal life. This is not the case in Yemen. More on this story is in the following report. As International Day Against Child Labor rolls around, Yemeni children are thrust into the workforce, stripped of their youth and ability to attend school. This exploitation is hazardous to children's mental, physical, social, and moral well-being. In Aden, children are stranded under the scorching sun to provide financial assistance for their ailing families. Obeda al Omeri is one of the many children who have resorted to selling bottled water to make ends meet. I sell water. I start my shift at 8 in the morning and wrap up at 7 to 9 at night. I work to provide for my family. Displacement has compelled many families to use their children as currency at a time when poverty looms at every corner in Yemen. Economic deterioration and salary suspensions have forced children into the workforce to provide income for their households. We are from Hodeida, but here our circumstances are really difficult. We do not have enough money to pay our bills or buy food. Yemen's children have been deprived of their innocence, health, and education far too young in a country exhausted by war. They bear the brunt of men's absence in households that are headed by women. The law has articles that explicitly prohibit child labor, and it's the nation's firm responsibility to reinforce such legislation. Children must have housing, free health care, and free education. However, Realistically speaking, displaced people who fled battle fronts to safer regions do not have the financial means to provide for their family. Most families do not have a male head, so women and children are forced to work. Labor is a daily occurrence for around 23% of Yemeni youths aged 5 to 14. The prevalence of forced labor in this country is made all the more severe by the widespread maltreatment of minors. These children are the victims of brutality and malice, from sexual exploitation to slavery. Their physical and mental health, security and development are all negatively affected. Children's trafficking is very prevalent in Yemen today. Families are sometimes the ones who place their children in trafficking networks. These young children are then the targets of the most heinous forms of trafficking. In this country, there are no special protections for victims who are children. 